Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. Creating this video, Damien Epi. Hi everyone, welcome to this video where we will review the trade of last week and a little bit uh, more than that. As a special treat, since we are in the middle of this crisis with the COVID-19, uh, I will open all my Telegram uh, channel for free for a while. So you will have access to this weekly profile and you will be alerted in real time when the price touches the line. So you will be able to take the trade with a four hour candlestick pattern like what I would explain in this specific video. So you will find the link to join my Telegram channel below this video and you can join, it's all for free. So let's start. So this is a profile of the last week and a half and we start with odd USD. So odd USD, what do we get? The price start at the vertical yellow line or white line depending on the chart. So price breaks the level very, very, very clearly right here. And after we have an angle right here. So this angle can be an entry for a buy, stop loss below here, and taking two reward. And taking, putting the stop loss to break even when it reached one. So this trade will work out, but maybe around 1.5 reward. For, for a trade where you take only the breakout of the candle, it's, uh, it's quite, quite nice. And I will compute also all the results to show you that the analysis works, even in this troubled time. So for this trade, I count only one reward. Let's go to odd CAD. So odd CAD, we had a lot of lines. The white are minor lines and the yellow are stronger. So price breaks this minor, breaks this yellow major with a very big body candle. So from this time on, uh, we want to take eventually a breakout of this pin bar going down. But if you take the middle, there is one loss and I will count one loss here. But this would have been better to take as, as a breakout since the price break the strongest line just before but it's a bit confusing so uh, I put a bit too much line on this specific chart. So after price breaks this yellow line it creates a pin bar right here and this pin bar retracement entry stop loss right here to buy this time this one is a winning trade with three reward then that's all happen on this specific chart then eventually once this trade is, is lost you could have re-entered for a sell when this bearish pin bar happen right here retracement entry right here stop loss right here and this one is a winning trade also with three reward now let's go on odd chf so odd chf what happened step by step break this line this one is a doji so breakout entry didn't trigger there is no trade here after we have a big candle breaking the first line doji eventually we could have taken this break of this doji so this would be a losing trade and after we have a 800 EMA, but usually the 800 should be confirmed with a line, so I would not have taken this trade. But you can see that this move from the 800 EMA was very, very huge and a winning trade. So I count one loss on this chart only. Now, odd New Zealand. So odd New Zealand, we have a doji didn't break down right here, so no trade. We have another doji, the pin is not enough big to count it as a pin bar, so I will not enter this trade. And after we have a bullish pin bar right here, so you could eventually have both this level, but what I don't like here is the pin bar, bullish pin bar didn't break this level. So it even didn't touch it. So I didn't enter this trade, but let's count for worst case scenario, you took this trade, it's a losing trade that I count in my account. Now let's go on odd JPY. So odd JPY, we have a doji breakout not really because it's maybe one pips and you don't place your breakout at one pips you place maybe two pips below so this one didn't trigger i will count one loss on worst case scenario but you shouldn't have entered here uh, but after you have an angle thing candle right here so this middle of the retracement entry right here stop loss above right here this one is a losing trade after this big candle break up this specific chart we have a bullish angle thing candle right here and you could have entered the angle thing at the middle retracement here and this one is a winning trade so for the account we have one loss right here and one win when you take in the other direction once it's broken clearly with a four hour candlestick after that so once you have taken a buy you have eventually an angle thing right here 
and this was retracement entry is a losing trade so news spiked it and it made it lose it and just after we have a very nice pin bar right here and this pin bar works successfully and we have two rewards since it's a breakout trade so there is one loss and one two reward win right here so far for the account we have 12 reward win against five risk loss now odd singapore odd singapore we have doji after doji didn't break out entry so we don't have traded here and after price breaks the level didn't retouch so no entry for a buy here made a pin bar right here so you could have entered and lose this trade and after you have a bearish pin bar right here and this one retracement one entry is a winning trade beautiful winning so you have one loss right here and one win right here one loss for a sell first pin bar and one win for a sell second engulfing pin bar euro odd now so euro odd we have yellow level broken we have a doji didn't break out we have a doji didn't break out price broke the level doji this one eventually it's a more risky trade but this one made one reward breakout trade <coughs> and uh, i will count it as a loss so one losing trade right here and after what do we have we have a doji here at the level bullish angle thing so you could have entered the retracement right here this one is a loss too so we have two loss two losses and after that we have so hammer didn't break out up so no entry doji didn't break out up so no entry and you have an angle thing retracement entry triggered and this one made like five six reward already so two loss and three reward minimum win now gbp odd so gbp odd we have a doji didn't break out a doji breakout and we have eventually one loss right here after you have a doji right here eventually for a sell but i will not count it because it's a bit uh, a bit confusing this is not a good shape doji so we can count one loss on this chart only now cad chf so cad chf what do we get so the yellow line white is right here price make a bullish so most likely going up break the level right here made a doji uh, didn't break the doji down make another doji but not really um, obvious and after that made an angle thing and this was a, ba a good signal for a buy and this one is a winning trade made like six seven reward already so this is one win right here at this level and after we have a doji broken down so this one is a loss and after we have no signal until this specific angle thing beautiful candle and i take into account this trade and i explain to you why first because this angle thing engulf one two three candlestick and also because it closed below my level so it means when it closed below it break my level in the downside direction so i took a retracement entry stop loss above here and this one is like same five to six reward already i count three only so on this chart we have one loss right here one win right here and one win right here so six reward and one risk loss now cat gpy nothing touch chf gpy now what do we got we got this specific pin bar right here beautiful retracement entry triggered and it made i will tell you so around 19 pip stop loss and it made 50 pips and i just remind you that when the price make two reward by safety you put your stop loss to break even so this one is not a win but it's not a loss it's a break even after that we have this pin bar again at the level and this retracement entry so let me check how many pips 15 pips stop loss and it made 20 only this one is a losing trade didn't trigger the break even and after we have so this one doesn't qualify as a regular pin bar uh eventually this doji broken up so one more loss right here and after that we have a beautiful w with an angle thing right here going up and this retracement entry beautiful make already four to five reward also so we have two losses and one three reward win here now chf singapore so what do we get we got a doji didn't break out so we have no trade right here after the price breaks the level the blue zone was not really where you would take a trade it was a weaker zone because there is no horizontal line so you just have to have it like maybe for breakout trade but not for reversal after we got this railroad track retracement entry this one might be counted as a loss 
and the second touch made this doji broken up or this angle thing replace one entry whether one or the other this one made three reward so on this chart we have only one loss and three reward win and just for your information you can check on telegram the profile uh, this specific profile was posted on thursday not of this specific week but last week so all these lines were predicted in advance proven so now what do we get we get a specific doji right here touching the level but this one uh, there is no entry here after we have a very big pin bar so eventually you could have taken a retracement entry on this pin bar triggered right here stop loss right here for a sell and this one made two reward so it's a break even trade there is no no win no loss on this specific chart now gold 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 we have a beautiful angle thing right here retracement entry right here stop loss a bit below and this one made two rewards so it's it's a break-even trade we didn't make a profit on this one so no trade to count on gold now let's look at silver silver didn't touch any level so we have no trade euro usd so euro usd uh this trade was too close so i i talk about this one this is not really a pin bar the pin is not big enough but if you have taken at the end of this candle, it's a nice winning trade. It made three reward right here. But if you take the angle thing that happened just after, uh, it's a losing trade for this one. It made only one reward profit before with the news jumping up. And after there is no pattern on the next level, it's right now. So it might be today, but we are Friday. It's Labor Day. That's why I make the video because today I don't specifically trade because a lot of countries are on holiday today. So next currency eurocad so eurocad we have uh, from the vertical line we have a doji didn't break out so no trade after that we have a doji didn't break out so no trade and angle thing eventually you could have taken this angle for a sell but it's a bit um, confusing or maybe you wouldn't have taken this one so i don't count it and after you have a very nice pin bar this week is very much longer than the little one right here Retrace one entry right here, and this one is a three reward, beautiful winning trade. After that, second touch, you don't take the trade. And after that, you have eventually this angle thing, but there is no level right here. So I took this trade, but it was a bit risky. I don't count it. So all in all, you have uh, no losing trade and one win with three reward on this chart. Now, Euro CHF. So Euro CHF from the yellow vertical line, you have... A beautiful pin bar right here retracement entry is a losing trade and after that you have this very very wide bar so i would not have entered right here but after that i have beautiful pin bar on the second touch retracement entry triggered and this one is a beautiful winning trade so we have one win right here after that what do we get once this level is broken with this beautiful big candle and price come back to it it makes a bullish pin bar right here the breakout of this bullish pin bar made three reward and i will count two because a breakout trade usually we take two reward so i have on this pair to count one loss right here one win right here and one win right here so five reward on this chart and one risk loss euro new zealand now so what we get on euro new zealand we got this pin bar right here retracement entry uh this one is a losing trade eventually after that you have a railroad track going down and this one breakout trade is a winning trade with two reward one win one loss at this level after that the pin bar retracement entry made two rewards so this one is a break even trade and after we have an angle thing beautiful retracement entry stop loss right here three reward so we have five reward win and one risk loss and just an additional tip if you get an angle thing candle on the four hour chart at my level, you can eventually take five reward because most of the time you will reach the five reward, which makes the profit more and more and more promising. Now let's look at Euro GPY. So Euro GPY from the vertical yellow line, we have this level. It can be counted as a pin bar, so we can count one loss right here. And after the candle breaks it violently. Uh, you can eventually count this one, but there is a big weak upset. No, it's not really a good angle thing. This bar is not a good angle thing because there is a too much big pin on this. So you don't take this kind of trade. 
And after, if you check about this specific pin bar and the angle things that went just after, it's dangerous because it's far away from the level, you know? You have too much di distance between the pin bar and the level. And the, the level actually, in this specific case, aside of broken up, continue to break down. So it, act, it was a support before and it's a resistance right now. And that's the only trade you have here. So I will count one loss and eventually to make it worst case scenario, two losses on this chart. Now let's look at Euro Singapore. So Euro Singapore, we have first pin bar, retracement entry, made two reward and it's a break even. Second, engulfing, retracement entry. And this one stand up and made three reward. It took one week to make it, but it made it. So we have one break even and three reward win on this chart. Euro Hong Kong. So what do we get? Uh, we got a pin bar, retracement entry worked, make two reward, worked, make two reward, and retrace to the entry. So this one is actually a break even trade. And after that, we have a doji didn't break up, a doji didn't break up, and a pin bar. This one is at the level. So I took this, this pin bar, entry right here, stop loss right here, and this one is obviously more than five to six reward. After that, we have a white line. So white line are weaker. And I took this specific one on the one hour chart and I made my three reward. But as you can see, uh, it didn't work out. So I will count one loss on this level. And the rest is happening right now. So we don't know yet. So we have three reward win, one break even, and one loss. Now let's look at Euro knock. So Euro knock, we had a white level, so weaker level right here. And look what price did. Doji didn't break down. Uh, a bearish candle, a bullish candle, and after a bullish, uh, bearish engulfing candle right here. You could have entered a breakout trade. This one is a winning trade, beautiful, along the week. But if you didn't take it, uh, it's understandable because the candle is very big. So I will not count this one, but it's a beautiful winning trade. Euro Zar. So Euro Zar, what do we get? Nothing touch here. This is the level that I expect. This level is very powerful for rejection. So you might touch maybe tonight, but since it's Labor Day on the weekend, I will not take it. And what do we get here? So we get nothing interesting, bearish candle, and after we get a, an angle thing bullish at the 200 EMA, which is a powerful level on the forward chart. But since there is no horizontal level right here, and maybe it's my fault because actually there is a nice level of, of support right here, and uh, we didn't have taken this trade. So there is no trade on USD, on Eurosa, sorry. Now let's look at GBP USD. So GBP USD, what do we get? Uh, we get this angle thing. This is a losing trade, so one loss right here. After we have this pin bar, and took a lot of time before retouching it, but we can count it as a second losing trade. And after the price make a big candle breaking the level, and we have an angle thing right here, retracement entry. This one is a winning trade. And after we have a pin bar at the level, so if you didn't take the first, you can have taken the second, and it's a winning trade also. So two losses, and eventually three reward eventually six reward i count three worst case scenario gbp chf so we have a pin bar right here at the level retrace one entry make only one reward before breaking up so it's a losing trade right here and what we can see here also is the candlestick make big body breaking the level and when it comes back once again pin bar going down retrace one entry stop loss right here for a buy this time and this one works perfectly and make like six, seven reward. So it's a winning trade. After that, you have a pin bar on the second touch. Same again right here. And you can, it's still running with 1.5 reward. I will count one here and I will count three here and one losing trade. So GBP cat, no level touch, so no trade. GBP JPY, one level touch, but it was broken violently. So we might have a trade for a buy right now, but it's not yet happening. We don't have valid pattern. GBP New Zealand, no level touch. GBP Singapore, same, nothing touch. Euro GBP. So Euro GBP, we have a beautiful pin bar right here at the level. And this one, retracement entry, made two reward before coming back. So it's a break-even trade. After that, there is eventually a sell right here. Uh, bullish pin bar, beautiful pin bar actually. And you could have entered a stop loss right here and it's a winning trade. So one win and one break-even right here. And three reward on the win, obviously. So GBP try. GBP try. We have a beautiful pin bar right here. Stop loss right here. This would have been a winner. But if you didn't take the pin bar and take the angle thing at the retracement entry, you would have made two reward. 
I count two rewards, worst case scenario, and the rest is still running. We have the next level very near. GBP sec, nothing touched. GBP knock. Our GBP knock, those are not horizontal lines, so I will not count it, but you can just check. Those trend line right here are from the 4 hour chart, and they are beautiful because there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 touch on it, so very strong. And when it breaks, that's what interests you actually. You don't want to take the touch of it, you want to take it when it's broken correctly. This candle break it perfectly, and we have a pin bar, and this pin bar is a beautiful 5 reward trade then the second trend line touch it and reverse but we just don't take it because it's not broken and it's not clear price action uh, pattern at this specific level just to show you for this specific one so if you find a trend line on my chart don't play the bounce but play the breakout once a candlestick on the four hour chart break it clearly and if you have also a like a pin bar on the retouch line exactly right here this is a perfect example so I don't count it, but you have this. But oh, and sorry, I forget. We have a Zeus white line, and you have a, you have a trade right here. So it made a doji, didn't break down, and after that we have an angle thing right here. Breakout of the angle thing, stop loss around here, made easily two rewards. So we have actually a good trade with two rewards on this chart. New Zealand USD. So what do we get? Uh, from the vertical line, we have a pin bar, replacement entry, stop loss right here, made 1.5. So I will count this one, worst case scenario, as a loss. And after that, we have a railroad track, replacement entry right here. And this one has been spiked with the news. Uh, and this is a losing trade also. And what I wanted to tell you is, on my chart, you have blue zones. So those blue zones are very nice zones. But once a zone is broken, even if it's by a few pips like that, you can expect the price most of the time to reach the next zone. And since this zone is on my chart right here, I could expect the price to go all the way to this specific zone. And this one was a beautiful rejection right here. I don't count it, I just explain you the process. So if a blue zone is broken by a few pips up or down, most of the time it will continue in the same direction until the next zone. This is supply and demand. So if you want to learn exactly how works supply and demand, and if you can see by your own eyes how the result of the profile are using those tools, plus a lot of tools that I teach on my professional course, you can also join my free mentorship and ask me on, on message on Telegram or on Facebook. So let's continue. I will count only my two losses on this chart, and let's move on to the next. New Zealand CAD. New Zealand CAD from the vertical line. We have a beautiful bearish pin bar right here. Retracement entry, three reward, easily made. It made five actually. So this one is a beautiful trade. Second level, doji broken down, and we are in a trade right now. So three reward to count only on this chart. New Zealand CHF. So what do we get? We got a pin bar right here, retracement entry, stop loss a bit above the pin bar. I will count one loss right here because it might have triggered your stop loss, but this was a beautiful winning trade if you place your stop loss as I ask you, a little bit above of the spike. So this is, a, I count worst case scenario as a loss. And after that, what we can see is price make a big bullish candle going up right here. And in this zone, actually from this specific high, touched the high, made a pin bar and broke all the way up. So in this chart, if you, haven't take, if you have taken this pin bar, it can be another loss for you. I will count it as a loss. So you get worst case scenario, two losses. And actually, you could have taken a buy eventually also when you see this bullish pin bar right here. And I will not count this bullish pin bar because it's, uh, the level is not clearly broken very, very high to make a, a trade right here. We have a trade right here, and it's a break-even trade. Pin bar right here, break-even, uh, sorry, retracement entry, stop loss above the high for a sell, and uh, it made two rewards, so it's a break-even trade. So one break-even on this chart, and uh, two losses, worst case scenario. Now let's look at uh, New Zealand GPY. Uh, Touch the level with a spike, very big spike, and made a pin bar right after that. And it's a winning trade, and I count one reward for now. It made 1.5 actually, and that's the only trade. Knock GPY, no level touch. Sec GPY, no level touch. USD CAD. So USD CAD, we have a beautiful big size pin bar right here so when i get this very big size like that what i do is aside of take entering at the middle retracement 
I will enter around 75% of the candle right here, stop loss right here, and this one was a winning trade, it made 3 rewards. And after that it breaks the level, you could eventually have taken the zone in the opposite direction for a sell going down, and this one made as a breakout trade 3 reward. And after, from this blue zone right here, it breaks a bit the zone but made a pin bar, so this was a fake. And at this pin bar you enter and this one made already 3 to 4 reward, and we can count 1 win right here, 2 win right here, and 3 win on this chart, so 9 reward minimum there. Now, USD, JPY, nothing touch, USD, CHF. So USD, CHF, uh, what do we get? We got a very nice pin bar right here, but this one is a losing trade. And after that, break the level and go to the next. And there is three powerful lines right here. It made a pin bar right here, and this one is a winning trade. Breakout, so two reward maximum, and that's it. After break this white line, and he's heading to the next zone. And we might get, uh, get a trade tonight for this zone. So one loss and one win just after. With two reward only. But you can count it made three. Easy, easy. So USD. Singapore now. USD Singapore, white line touch. There is a doji broken up, so we have a losing trade right here. After this could have been taken as a retracement entry, it's a losing trade. And after price breaks this zone, made a pin bar in the other direction, you could have entered this pin bar as a breakout and it's a winning trade. And after after that's it, that's the only trade we have. We don't have a valid pattern after that. So we have two reward win and two losses. Now we are on USD ZAR, so what happened? We have this doji at the level, but the level broke right here, so it would have been more for a buy, and you could have taken this retracement entry, stop loss right here, and this one is a losing trade. Uh, once this happened, price has broken in both directions very widely, so this level in the middle, I would have, wouldn't have taken it again. So I would not take any trade on this chart after Zoo's specific uh, pattern. So I count one loss here. USD Pologne. Yeah. So USD Pologne, what do we get? We get a doji touching the level followed by a pin bar and this pin bar uh, retracement entry actually from here to here, retracement 50% touch and it made two, two rewards. So it's a break even trade, this one. And after we have a bearish beautiful pin bar as a breakout trade, price didn't come back again. And it made two rewards, so we have two reward wins. Uh, after that, I forget, at the beginning of this week, we have this white level right here, pin bar right here, stop loss below, retracement entry, it's a winning trade with three reward. So three reward win, one break even, uh, second touch we don't take, and that's it. USD, Danish Krona. So what do we get? We got a pin bar at the level, retracement didn't trigger, so breakout. And when it reached one reward, you place to break even. So this is a break even trade. I will count it as a loss, worst case scenario. After that, you have a very beautiful bullish pin bar. And this one, retracement entry, stop loss right here, is a huge winner. So this one, three reward win, obviously. At the beginning of the week, I forget the white line right here. You have this pin bar, or this one eventually. And this one is a winning trade for a buy. And uh, that's it. One loss. One win, three reward, two wins, three reward. And I can eventually count when this, once this level is broken, you could have taken a breakout trade right here. And it's a win also, but I don't count it. So six reward and one losing trade, one risk loss of this chart. USD Xetch. So USD Xetch, what do you get? We got Doji broken down. So this one is a losing trade because it has been spiked with this specific one. And after this one, I re entered this engulfing bearish candle and this one eventually is a winning trade and that's it the rest is forming right now so one loss and two reward win on this trade usd chf um, no sorry huf uh not really doji doji broken down we can have one losing trade right here and after that doji pin bar right here retracement entry and this one spiked up so we have one loss again but when I saw this very bearish pin bar, I took again, and this one is a beautiful uh, winning trade. So two losses, one win. So three reward and one risk loss on this chart, still in profit.
now let's look at uh, this chart so not no pattern right here hammer didn't broke down uh, doji inside the hammer i would not have entered but i can count one loss worst case scenario and after this level is broken up as i told you this blue zone is broken up we have a bullish pin bar right here replacement entry i didn't count it but i will not count it but this is a winning trade entry in the middle and three reward easy peasy so this is and after this zone we have a very beautiful pin bar right here and this pin bar breakout trade made obviously three reward i count two because it's a breakout trade so we have one loss and two reward win sorry for the noise on this chart usd cnh we don't have trade no line touch so there is no pattern right now or eventually a pin bar right here you could uh, you can enter this trade usd knock uh, what do we get we got this line which means it's a breakout line once it's broken you can take it but not before so price break it right here made a bullish pin bar you could have entered eventually right here stop loss above here and it's a beautiful winning i don't count it but you could have taken this line as a breakout dotted line are breakout line on my analysis and i will tell you now the total so we have 96 reward profits and against it we have 37 uh, risk losses it makes a profit for the week of 59 reward times two percent if you use two percent it makes 118 percent profit using this profile and the four hour swing trading strategy that i have given you for free in this youtube channel and this is for only uh, seven days of trading i rem i repeat 118 percent profit for seven days of trading using my analysis and i repeat once again um you have access from now on and until indefined date to my analysis and the alert channel for free on telegram and the link are below so just click on it and join our group and i wish you success in trading see you next week bye we are already at the end of the video subscribe for updates please like and share this video if you found the content useful Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the link are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.